Hey, everybody, it's your friend, Fred Johnson. And when I'm not covering Splatoon matches or selling medication or covering music or guests appearing on Q&A videos asking food-related questions, I'm here going over horror movie collections. Yes, very specifically, horror movies. Horror movies specifically. And very specifically, I'm going over Van Man Idiot's horror movie collection. Now, I know what you're thinking. Fred Johnson, which is me, how, why are you going over the front of Van Man's horror movie collection and not Van Man himself? Well, I'll tell you why. Vinny Boy is very incompetent, so he asked me to do it for some reason. Yeah. And, uh, for a heads up so you don't ask any questions, uh, I can very conveniently have seen every movie that Redman has seen in this collection. So, shut up. Don't ask questions. So, I'll tell you which ones I have seen and which ones I haven't seen, okay? Alright, we'll start with the Damogen box set. We have Damogen, Return of Damogen, and Wrath of Damogen. These are very good movies, very underrated. These are very good kaiju movies, as I, as the kids say. You know, conveniently, the kaiju himself, Mr. Damogen over here, he doesn't appear till the last 20 minutes, and it instead it's a very ancient Japanese movie. It's very, very good, even though... All three of them are basically the same movie, because they were made at the same time. It's true. Google it. See, I am very informative. He really, he told me to do, shut up. Okay, we we have the Scream Factory Friday the 13th box set. All 12 movies, including a little collection videos and a little, little collection booklet. Okay, we have the, no, we have, uh, what's it called? Uh... Never Hack Alone is a fan film. Actually, technically, three fan films. A little prologue, uh, the fan never had a clone, and never hack in the snow. It's a kick. I, Freddy Boy got this through a Kickstarter. And as you could, and did you know that he contributed so you could see his name? It's true. Look it up. And right over here, we got the fly box set. Each, every fly movie that ever existed. And I have, Despite Vinny Boy owning this for so many years, he still hasn't watched it for some reason. You know what he has watched? Gamera over here. Uh, every single Gamera. And only two of them are good. Yes, this this one is the good one. And these, well, this is the Showa era, and this is the Heisei era. The Heisei era is actually very good, unlike most of them, which are for stupid baby children. Ooh, get owned, children. Yeah. And over here we have Gravity Falls. I've seen a couple episodes, and I intend on watching the other ones. Uh, I really like Seuss. That's my comment on Gravity Falls. Okay, let's move to the lower section. We have 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. It's a movie about infected zombies, and it takes the place over this amount of time. They're very good. Uh, yeah. 31 is a Rob Zombie movie, and it takes place on October 31st, hence why it's called 31. Here, The Abominable Snowman of the Himalayas is a hammer film starring Peter Cushion, and it is very good, and every time I watch it, which is only one time, I, f I felt really silly and cold watching it. Uh, the Clockwork Orange. It's a man with a clock in his orange, and it's very good. Even it's arguably not a horror movie, but it has horror elements. If you've seen the movie, this is uh, you know what I'm talking about. Alien and Aliens. Very good movies. Personally, I'm more of an alien guy because I like it when there's more one singular alien than aliens. But Aliens is a very good movie. Yes, American Psycho, and I hear this is what he, this man is what I hear the kids say is a Sigma male, I believe. Very weird movie. Now, American Werewolf in London is a very good movie. One of Vinnie Boy's favorite movies. It's a man who's American, and he goes into London and turns into a werewolf. Very simple. Yes, Annihilation. Annihilation is a movie where the Annihilation... You know, I'm starting to run out of things to say. It's very awkward. Why they have me do this? Antlers is a movie about antlers and the uh, Wendigo. Very, I'll have you know that the antler version of Wendigo was historically inaccurate. Google it. Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness is a very funny movie. 
It's actually a lot more funny than I remember. Yeah, Ash vs. Evil Dead. I've seen a couple episodes, and I cannot... F I want to finish it, but I can't because I'm incompetent and struggle with TV shows, including Venman 88. Yeah, uh, The Babadook. I don't even know why Venny Boy even got this one because the, the kid is stupid and annoying, but overall, it's a good movie, except the kid sucks. Yeah, Basket Case is a case with the basket. It's very weird, and Belial over here is really creepy. You should hear him scream. Uh, Behind the Mask of Leslie Vernon is a very good parody of slasher films. It dives in and critiques it or something. Some smart stuff. Uh, as you can see, Vernon Boy accidentally, well, when he got it for Christmas, the uh, box accidentally ripped open, so we had to buy a new case. So, yeah, Black Christmas is one of Vernon Boy's favorite horror movies. He, that's why he got the 4K thing. He ma he mainly got it to buy, he mainly bought, spent a lot of money to buy the pins, but yeah, he's really knows nice. he has a 4K too. Uh, excuse me, um, the Black Christmas remake from 2006. Technically, this is not an official Blu-ray, but a uh, reproduction. But sure, it's uh, okay, uh, I can understand, it's very well shot. I know it has very good cinematography and it's very colorful and uh, it has a couple decent kills, but everything else is meh. And, and what are my opinions on the 2019 remake? Well, I'll ask you one question. You ever been on Twitter? There you go. Uh, we ever have the black phone with every ink and hawk. I, it's a phone that's black. It's really good. Blackula scream, blackula scream. A very good scream be blacky horror movies. <laughs> Uh, the Dracula is very good in it. It's uh, th these movies are a lot better than you would ever anticipate. But they are, even though they're silly, they're very good. Yes, Blair Witch Project. See, I understand this movie, and if you do not and you get a headache, you are stupid. See, I must. I understand this movie, and I am smart. The Blob. The Blob is a very good remake from the eighties. It's definitely better than the old Blob. I'll tell you, this: the original Blob is born. I said it, and the only reason people remember it was the original theme song. Ah, uh, that's that's what I say. Well, that's what I said. Um, can you tell I'm running out of things to say? Cause I am. Yeah, uh, Blood Slaughter Massacre. It's a very bad, very cheap movie. It's so cheap, which I'm even surprised they could even afford DVDs and a poster. Yeah, that's how cheap we're talking about. I'm gonna take this out because it's gonna, gonna be tough. Hold on. Uh, my Bloody Valentine is another favorite of any boy. Uh, it's from the 80, 80s and it's very Canadian. You don't see Canadian movies nowadays. Uh, they banned them. Uh, bodies, bodies, bodies. It has three bodies, and you say it three times, you go to hell. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein is a movie of the Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah. I didn't really care for this one, but it's a very kind of cool cover. It's going in the dark. Uh, the Burning is a, another camp slasher. Did we go over camp slashers yet? No, we did not. Probably. Yes, we did. Friday the 13th. My jaw is getting sore from doing this stupid voice. Uh, the boy, the burning, uh, the burning is a camp slasher, and he has the thinnies. Yeah. Um, um, uh, cabin in the woods is a cabin in the woods. Very simple. Candyman is a... I can't fucking do this. 